Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by C Mike in 9292. Drank an entire glass of hummingbird nectar for the bird feeder. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where Tyson goes outside posted this. Turns out 2021 is just as bizarre and unprecedented as 2020. Except it's all good things that keep happening. What are they? Everybody gets a job with a sustainable salary. Women's clothes have pockets. Big pockets, huge pockets, the most tremendous pockets. Guy in his basement develops a cure for cancer and gives it away for free. Aliens, but they're the good kind, like Vulcans, but fun and sexy. They cure all our diseases, give us the secrets of perpetual clean energy and adopt us as their little sister planet. They think we're cute and fun to have around. Ireland will have four actual seasons as opposed to winter rain, spring rain, summer rain and autumn rain. A meteor lightly impacts the earth in the middle of the ocean, killing no one. But not just any meteor, this one has bacteria on it that mysteriously cures blindness, deafness, diabetes and all forms of dementia. Sugar is now good for you in large doses. A rash of benevolent billionaires begin hacking into people's accounts, i.e. student loans, mortgages, credit cards and paying them off. It's illegal because they're hacking into your accounts and accessing all of your PII, but no one wants to prosecute them for it since it's benefiting them. Except the debt companies, they want that shit to stop. Well, considering 2020 has had something crazy happen almost every month, this is what I'd propose. January. Rather than crazy bushfires in Australia, they invent an effective eradication method for COVID-19, 99% effective, that basically reduces it to a cold. It's released to the world and enables all countries to stabilise. February to March. Unprecedented global free trade deals between most major powers, enabling nearly every country to financially recover and begin to prosper after 2020. April to May. The top 10% wealthiest people in the world decide to donate 10% of their funds back to society as a thank you to the world. This should effectively raise the socio-economic state of the bottom 50% of people, increasing overall spending and helping small businesses around the world recover. June to July, peace in the Middle East. The people of the Middle Eastern countries fed up with their quality of life finally get peace, rebuilding of many destroyed cities and towns a major upgrade to infrastructure in the areas. August to October. Cure for some forms of cancer is finally achieved. Mass rollouts across the world. Breakthroughs in other cancer treatments. November to December. Contact with our first alien race. Peaceful negotiations begin, along with the trade of information and technology. A new age of enlightenment begins. Turns out low-carb diets are actually bad for you. Krispy Kreme diet is real. We discover something that actually make our body understand that we don't need all that fat and everyone can eat whatever they want. New technologies are out, creating both the need for new employees and an easier life for everybody. Nuclear fusion technologies is perfected, rendering electricity dirt cheap and everyone gets an electric car. VR becomes affordable alongside treadmills and gamers actually get in shape whilst playing Elder Scrolls 6. Politicians actually start working to benefit the people. Letter from the developer explaining that 2020 was caused due to a particularly aggressive glitch that occurred following a patch to the gazelle's max running speed. As an apology to all players still in the game, all wealth is evenly redistributed with the current leaderboard receiving a star next to their names. Every player receives plus 20 free IQ points, plus 20 free physical points and plus 30 
free skill points to spend as they choose. Cancer, climate change, and several other high-level enemies deemed too difficult by the player base are severely nerfed until such time that the overall average level increases. Obesity, diabetes, mental health issues, and addiction are random encounters are drastically lowered. Colour blindness removed entirely. Several new upgrades are unlocked early, including light speed travel and cheeseburger trees. All players granted the bonus of either a friendly robot, talking animal, or comical ghost companion as hinted at in previous in-game advertisements. This includes the rumoured Pokemon. All the new controversial story deaths from the wildly unpopular 2016 campaign are undone. A new clue towards the final mission objective of meaning is revealed. Ice Cream Sundays introduced as a weekly event. This was always in the game but never unlocked due to a typo in the UI code. Rewards for kindness increased due to general attitude that the grind wasn't worth the payoff. Bonuses for the being a dick tree nerfed. Players are now able to choose a replacement sound for the standard fart sound effect in customization options. Keanu Reeves patched as president of the USA as originally planned. Everybody is suddenly emotionally mature. All the stupid people of the world got smart overnight. All the angry people chilled out. All the world's problems were solved with simple solutions. Everyone is happy healthy. COVID-19 was cured along with cancer, AIDS, diabetes and every other illness that has been holding back humankind. We also agree to not worship money or stupid people ever again. January. Vaccine comes. It's free and has no side effects. February. Movies that were supposed to be released 2020 all come out and the theatres are full of masterpieces. March. Up and coming artists and authors have spent the lockdown sitting down to write and create. We're starting to see the results of that. April. Lou Bega releases Mambo number no. 6, and it's all people can think about this month. May. Turns out that climate change was a hoax. The climate just had a rough century and has learned to chill out more. June. An alien escapes Area 51. Turns out he's a nice dude and guess all the late night talk shows. On the inevitable Joe Rogan appearance, they both do DMT and learn so much about each other. July. No one know why or how it happened, but suddenly money just isn't an issue anymore. August. The whole alien thing from June has started to affect how we view each other on the planet. We are seeing drastic and long lasting decline in terrorism and crime. September. God bless us all. I'm not a fan of that one. Mm. October to November. Finally, some normal and mundane events. December. Home Alone remake with the original cast. All I want for Christmas is eradicated. You got a memorable present and you made everyone truly happy with the ones you gave. What good things do you hope 2021 has in store for us? Share in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who drank a glass of hummingbird nectar? It was... A kid. My grandmother was watching us and thought it was juice, so she gave it to us. Well, at least it was just sugar water, so no real harm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.